guys, welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a Kylie Jenner inspired video. I know the whole world has been obsessed with her makeup for like probably over 12 months now. And I'm only just jumping on the bandwagon. I mean, I've loved her makeup, but I've just never done a tutorial for whatever reason. I'm not sure. So I thought, why not today? Let's do one. And yeah, I've just been really obsessed with this lip color, which I also think is totally a Kylie Lizzle uh, lip color. So yeah, Kylie is all about stacks of lashes and huge, look, massively overdrawn lips. Um, you can see here, like my lips are normally not this full, but you can see here that you do not need to go under the knife to get nice big full lips. It's all about how you line them and the techniques and the colors that you use. So don't forget to subscribe if you're not subscribed already and definitely follow my Instagram, which is just at Nakia Joy, if you want to see any pictures of any of the looks I do here on my channel. And if you guys want to see how to get this Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look, then please keep on watching. So to prime my face today, I'm using the Inglot Under Makeup Base. You guys have requested that I include more Inglot products in videos. So your wish is my command. I love this primer. It's fantastic for oil control and for filling in any pores or you know rough surfaces. Then following up with that, I'm using the Inglot AMC Foundation. I'm using that with a Miracle Complexion sponge. Just applying one light coat because I am gonna go in later after I've done the eyes and really thicken up the foundation to full coverage. Okay, eyebrows, you guys have seen me do this a thousand times, so I'm really going to skim over this. If you're interested in seeing how I fill in my brows, I will link my brow tutorial in the description bar below. Okay, moving on to the eyes now. I'm just first priming with this MAC Paint Pot. This is the color Painterly. Fantastic eyeshadow base. It will help your shadows stay in place all day long, and it will also help increase the vibrancy and prevent them from creasing. All thumbs up from me. And then for the eyeshadow, so this is one of my Inglot eyeshadow palettes. Now basically the deal with Inglot is you go in and you select whatever colors you want, whether it's blush, eyeshadows, um, lipsticks, concealers, powders, anything. You select what colors you want and you build your own palettes, which I love, love, love. So I'm first taking this taupey matte shade and I'm working this one all through the socket and all over the lid, basically just popping a light dusting all over the eye and then through the lash line. Now going back into that same Inglot eyeshadow palette, I'm going to pick up this dark matte brown color. Now don't worry, I will list uh, all of the colors and the little number codes in the description box below. So if you guys do want to pick up these shadows, then you can. Um, Kylie's eyeshadow looks are very, very simple. So I'm just working this dark brown on the outer corner of the eye, really doing a good job of blending it out. Um, like I said, very, very simple. She draws most of the emphasis with the eyeliner and the lips. So yeah, you basically just want to have a little splash of color on the lids just to give some definition. Now I'm going to be highlighting the brow bone with this matte white and then that pretty much completes the eyeshadow look. Easy, huh? Okay, moving on to the winged eyeliner. I'm taking the Inglot AMC gel eyeliner. Absolutely obsessed with this. Have been for probably a good 18 months now. Totally smudge proof, super, super creamy and super black. And it's also very easy to tidy up if you make a mistake, which is always a plus in my books. Now don't worry if you're not too particularly proficient at creating a cat wing or a super crisp line. Because after we finish this eyeliner, I'm actually going to take a black eyeshadow on an angled brush and pretty well smudge out just over the edges of this eyeliner. And that's pretty much going to make the eyeliner look a little bit lived in and a little bit more grungy, which is, tends to be what Kylie goes for. That's also an amazing trick for those of you that aren't the best at getting that perfect line because, you know, adding this eyeshadow makes it look pretty well perfect. Also running that black eyeshadow through the lower lash line just to smoke it all out. Now just running a brown cold pencil through the waterline. Oh, this looks so gross on camera. That'll just finish off the eye and get rid of any redness. Now for a couple of coats of mascara. This is the Too Faced Lash Gasm Mascara, which I used to hate, but apparently I like it now. So there you go. Oh my God, these are the lashes and these are incredible. These are the K-Lux or maybe it's K-Lux, the lashes in the style Maria. Have you ever seen something so fluffy and gorgeous in your life? I cannot get over these, they're amazing. I will link the website in the description bar below so that you guys can check them out. Now, like I mentioned earlier, going in and applying that second coat of foundation to build it up to really full coverage. Kylie always has full coverage foundation on. I've never seen her with a light application, only ever full coverage. Now going in with concealer, guys, don't spend 50 bucks on the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer. Go and buy this Maybelline Fit Me Concealer. It is just as good, if not better, and oh, I'm obsessed with it. I use it in pretty much every video. I really have to like spice things up a bit, don't I? 
Okay, going in with another Inglot product, this is the AMC Pressed Powder. And once again, this does incredible things for oil control. I'm an oily girl, and if I put this on in the morning, it pretty well lasts me all day. And it also blurs out all pores and imperfections. Now for bronzer, I'm using this new bronzer that I'm trying out, and it is the Jane Iredell So Bronze Bronzer, I think it's called. Uh, yeah, So Bronze Bronzer. After using it in this tutorial, oh my god, I'm obsessed with this. It's so easy to blend, the color is perfect, and it comes with this gorgeous little highlighter in the same thing too, which is super handy. Back to Inglot again. This is a blush palette that I just created. Obviously, you guys do not need to create palettes this size. This, these are all from my professional kit. Um, but, oh my god, it's so cheap and amazing. I will list everything that I've used in the description bar, all of the colors, all of the product names and everything so that you guys can check them out. Okay, now for the most important part of the tutorial, the lips. So to create Kylie Jenner lips, what you want to do is overline only your cupid's bow area and then connect the line to the natural line of your lip and then overline the bottom of your lip, only the middle third, and then reconnect the line with your natural lip line as well. This creates more of a stencil. I'm not really doing this to necessarily, you know, stop... Um, the lipstick from like feathering or anything. It's merely a stencil. Now I'm taking these two gorgeous Anastasia Beverly Hills liquid lip products and I'm mixing them on the back of my hand and then I'm going in with them um, straight onto the lips and I'm drawing over top of that line that we've created with the lip liner being very very careful to only overline the center of the bottom of the lip and over and only overlining the cupid's bright area and but reconnecting those lines in the outer corners with my natural lip line if you overdraw the entire lip including the corners you're just going to look crazy but if you overdraw only the center you're basically going to look like you've had botox so yeah it's a really really good way to overdraw your lips technically um you could do it with anything but i think that it looks much better with only matte lip colors as you can see here i look like i've been stung by a bee several times on my mouth but i haven't and it was pain free so that completes my kylie jenner inspired makeup tutorial i hope you guys really enjoyed the video do give it a huge thumbs up if you did enjoy it it helps me share my work with the rest of the people in the world which is really good for me i love you guys so much and to see pictures of this head over to my instagram i'll catch you in the next video bye 100 percent my go-to foundation for oily skin I use this one only for special occasions. Do bear that in mind. I would